welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you're trying to find your balance uh, balance back in your life again. Uh, and this is the uh, Justice card in this particular deck. So it's about using all your skills, uh, everything that you've learned really to try and get that balance back again in your life. Uh, this could be also people receiving karmic justice around you, um, you know, if they have done anything to you. So uh, that's also going down as well. And you are being divinely guided. You are being supported all the way through whatever you're doing. So if you're, you know, whatever work you're doing, whatever projects you're doing, you're having to use all your skills and talents that you've learned. And also you're healing from a difficult situation as well. Now, uh, you've got the solitude card over here. You might be doing extra study or extra work. You seem to have withdrawn as well. Uh, this is the hermit card. So taking time out from everybody else, um, finding a new direction. You've got a star right over there. So you're trying to find uh, a new um, way of doing things. And there's a lot of hope as well in this car. But a lot of learning has come in and a lot of uh, growth has come in as well with that solitude card but spending a lot of time by yourself. And you are standing up for yourself. You need to stand up for yourself, and that is how your power will come. You need to uh, not let anybody put you down or um, you know, try to get the better of you with this particular card. This is the Seven of Rods. So coming up against problems, but you need to stand up uh, for yourself. Now, in the past, you've got the Hope card over here, which is the Star card, and having a new direction, a new vision, and this is what you've been following. Uh, you may have changed the way you're doing things, um, but this is about uh, you know, uh, being guided as well so a lot of messages have been coming in for you and that's the hierophant card and that's your card so you are looking at things from a very different perspective now maybe you're actually withdrawing yourself from whatever the drama was uh, separating yourself from it and you're now looking at it with new eyes and new wisdom is coming in with that wisdom card or new insights coming in as well so uh, going to the future, you've got the moving on card and emotional withdrawal. So you are moving on. Both these cards are about moving on. And, uh, you know, this is the Eight of Cups and this is... Um, the Six of Swords. So both these cards are moving away from any kind of difficult situation. One says emotionally withdrawing or, you know, going your own route now. You're following your own star. Uh, and that's what is significant with the Solitude card. It's finding that star and following it as well. So the moving on card, the Six of Swords, is leaving behind very difficult situations, turning your back from the dark into the light. You can see this man's moving into the light over there and following your own uh, pathway as well. And the emotional withdrawal card is uh, the Eight of Cups. So that is leaving behind something that was very structured in your life and following your own path into something that is going to be more emotionally supportive or more, more emotionally fulfilling for you. So that's coming in. So you are leaving behind all these negative energies and you are um, moving away. And you're moving away on your own path. And you are standing up for yourself, so uh, getting that confidence back again. I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Tarot of Dreams. I have shuffled this deck. So a lot of your cards coming out in this particular spread. You've got the star card over here, so no new hope coming in for you here. But also a big change, a big dramatic change over here. You've got the uh, Aquarius energy. This is about healing, but this is also about brand new ideas and brand new insights coming in for you here. Uh, the star card is about a lot of hope, changing direction, finding uh, you know your true north, and getting rid of all those negative emotions. So throwing out that is that is not serving you, all the depression or problems that you're going through. And you've got rainbows coming out of here. So things are going to start looking up for you and you are being divinely guided. It seems like the universe is elevating you or lifting you above that emotional situation. This woman is uh, uh, rising above the ocean. So you need to get your emotions in check, really, and uh, let go of all those negative emotions. See things from a different point of view. The 
star card with that Aquarius energy brings in these new ideas, new insights, and, you know, things that are going to be groundbreaking, changing uh, the way things are going. Now you've got the seven and the, the eight of coins over here and the four of coins. So that eight of coins being very, very focused on your work, being very, very, uh, you know, learning new skills, but also maybe specializing in something. You've got the sun in Virgo over there. So you're going to be, be very, very focused on learning something new or doing something new. There's some, uh, you know, maybe further training or further study coming in for you there. You've got the four of coins over here. So needing to manage your resources, but also focusing on your career with sun in Capricorn over here. So focus Focusing on that goal that you want to achieve and with a lot of hard work it looks like you will be able to achieve and accumulate wealth this four of coins is being able to accumulate and get stability and getting control of that situation as well and managing your resources pretty much so you are getting on top of your finances as well and money is going to be coming in with all that hard work and it looks like you have been working pretty hard here you've got the sun card over here you needed to find some direction and it seems like you worked, you've worked. you been working very, very hard, maybe very, very late hours with that sun card, but success is slowly coming to you. Now, there has been some kind of new insight or new learning that has come in here with the Page of Cups. There could have been a new offer as well, uh, but definitely, uh, you know, it's about learning something new, learning a new skill, and that has come in for you there. And you're using all that you have learned at this particular moment. Now you've got the Empress card, which is your card over here. It's ruled by Venus, and this is what you're hoping for or what is on your mind. You're trying to manifest this abundance to you. So it is taking a long a bit of time, a long time over here. There's still some financial issues going on over there with the four of coins, but you're reaching more financial stability than you have been for a long time. And the Empress is what you're trying to aim for, which is a lot of abundance and maybe independence as well financial independence now going into the future you're still crying about whatever happened there some choice coming up for you soon uh, but you are still upset about what it ha had happened to you you've got Mars sitting in Scorpio so it might have been something very very nasty uh, that had happened uh, it was very vindictive behavior and you know you feel like everything has you know it's almost as though you lost everything you're thinking about the past quite a bit there's a lot of regret uh, that is going on over here and a lot of depression going on as well with that particular card going into the future you've got the Knight of Swords over here so you could be dealing with uh, some kind of legal issue coming in over here or you could be dealing with somebody that is uh, still very nasty around you some kind of uh, energy where the person says things that are pretty nasty um, and causes a lot of upset. The Knight of Swords, you know, it's it's an energy that causes a lot of disruption. Now, this could be a legal decision that is coming in, or you will hear some kind of legal news as well. Now, you've got the World card, and this is talking about uh, ending of that cycle. So this is the karmic ending. You've got the Saturn card. If this was a work-related issue, maybe you've ended an old job and starting something new. You've got the Fool in focus in this wheel over here. So something brand new coming. It seems like that past is being left behind. You've got a lot of clouds and fire, a lot of drama, but you're ending... You're going towards stability here. You've got a lot of trees, growth and abundance. And the waters are pretty calm over here. So you're getting out of that phase of drama and moving into something better. And you enter that cycle. This is a karmic ending. So this will be something, you know, once this is ending, you will start making a brand new beginning. And you have a very unique talents as well. And you'll be starting something brand new. Now, you're still very stressed out about things and you do need to take a little bit of a break. Uh, you know, there's breakdowns of communication between you and somebody else uh, that you were dealing with. There might be a legal issue that you were waiting for uh, to come to light. Uh, you need to take a retreat a little bit, maybe take a little bit of a break and come up with a new strategy. So withdrawing from everybody else uh, to come up with a new plan on how you're going to do things. So going into the future and the final outcome, you've got the Ten of Coins, the Two of Cups, and the Hierophant card. The Ten of Coins, it looks like a brand new door opening over here. So you might be dealing with two really um, upsetting energies over there. You've got this man and this woman's face over there. But it looks like you're leaving that behind. And you're, despite the fact that these people may have been giving you grief, you are managing to make your own doorway and walk through it. And it looks like money is coming in. Your focus, you've got Gemini, um, um, sorry, um, you've got uh, Mercury sitting in Virgo over there. This is about being very, very focused on that work and coming up with some really brilliant ideas as well. And 
this is now opening the doors for you. So you're on a new pathway, you're very focused in your career, and lots of money looks like it's going to be coming in. This is also the end of a difficult financial cycle for you. So lots of endings here that has come in. You've got the Two of Cups, so some kind of, uh, maybe there's a relationship coming in over here. Venus in Cancer is talking about a really good soulmate kind of connection coming in for you over here. A lot of happiness, a lot of love. There might be even somebody that comes into your experience that offers you that and even maybe offers you stability and even uh, you, know, you could be even thinking about buying a home. There's some kind of choice that comes in over there with that Two of Cups. Um, and you've just got to have that faith. You've got the uh, Hierophant card, which is your card. So you're getting into a, a role where you're uh, some, you know, acting as a teacher or a mentor. You're giving advice. Uh, you also may need to seek some financial advice as well with that faith card. But you also have to ask for some divine assistance to get you through this particular period. And it looks like it's going to become. This is the card of being a leader. And this is where you are at at the moment. So how, after you've gone through all of these problems, you're emerging as a, a leader that people can ask for advice from and uh, you know they, they can rely on you so there's a lot of stability coming in over there it's a Taurus card so it means that uh, you know uh, it will come in the divine is there to help you so I'm just going to draw some cards from the animal tarot <coughs> so you are going uh, forward and that star card is showing that the divine is helping you as well and amazingly, be below that card is the full card. So uh, it looks like brand new beginnings starting for you, something really good. And that's going to be very successful because above that full card is that star card. And these are all major arcana. So this was a karmic cycle. It had to, you had to do it. Uh, there was no getting around it. And although it's difficult, it looks like now that you've gone through it quite successfully, the universe will help you out. So you are waiting for some kind of, uh, you know, decision or legal news to come in. You are still a little bit distressed about things, but know that it is all going to be successful in the end. And, you know, you probably say it was all worth it as well. So uh, you've got three uh, rods cards over here, so a lot of energy coming in for you. So you've got the uh, gazelle there, and it says, You have worked hard, and what you created is impressive and worthy of protecting. Annoying challenges may pop up, but don't worry, you'll get through them just as you have in the past. So you'll be able to, to jump over all these problems and jump over all these obstacles and you will be successful at what you do. So the Nine of Spring says, just hang in there. Things are about to turn for the better. And you've got the Six of Spring over here, which says you may receive a promotion or be chosen for a scholarship or find that you are singled out for special recognition. You have done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention. So there's a success card coming over there. The Six of Springs, Six of Rods is uh, you know victory after going through a a lot of battle, a lot of loss, a lot of hardships, but it looks like you are going to be very successful. And you've got the Princess of Spring over says creative opportunities that you feel passionate about, flushing your way, personal growth and broadened horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. So there's a lot of transformation coming, a lot of power coming back into your hands uh, because you have been feeling very disempowered, but it looks like all that is about to change, transformation and recognition coming in. Even this crown's got a butterfly on it, so there's a a lot of recognition coming in over here that six of springs talking about victory and the nine of springs says just hang in there a little longer uh it looks like you're going to be able to overcome these hurdles and move forward and everything is going to be successful for you so i do hope that this reading has resonated and uh, please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye